Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you some different things you can do with Kemper paint sticks. They're so fun and it's like painting, kind of drawing with lipstick. That's what it feels like. And the nice thing about them is you don't need to use any water. Okay, here we go. So, first of all, I'm going to show you what I've already done. And then I'm going to do it on a new piece of paper so you can see how it's done. Okay, so this is something called scumbling, color mixing, scraffito, pointillism. Basically, the technique is called stippling, though, but that's pointillism is when you create an image out of a bunch of little dots. Um, dash lines overlapping colors, adding white, adding black, and then down at the bottom, you can just experiment, okay? I did, um, I did paint stick over Sharpie, and then actually when the paint stick dried, which that's the key, you have to wait for it to dry, then I did Sharpie over paint stick. Um, here I overlapped like five different colors, and then while it was still wet, I scraffitoed over it. I scraped with a little scratcher, okay? And then here I did some spirals with overlapping light blue, dark blue, purple, and white. And I still have some room to experiment as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move this a little bit more so you can see even better, okay? So let's, Let's go ahead and start out with scumbling. Remember guys, that scumbling is when you go in a circular motion with whatever media you're using, okay? So right now I'm scumbling. Scumbling is great to do with multiple colors. It's actually a really fun way to mix colors, um, but instead of just going back and forth mixing colors, Again, you're going in a circular motion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to overlap a few different colors using scumbling, okay? Light blue, dark blue, and some purple scumbling. There we go. I hope you guys can see it okay in this video. It almost looks like you can't see it very well, but let me hold it up so you can see it even better. Okay. All right, now let's, uh, let's do some color mixing. So we're doing that by basically overlapping colors while the temper paint stick is wet. If you overlap when it's dry, it's not going to mix, okay? Um, which overlapping when the temper paint is dry is a technique too, but we wanna mix some new colors. almost getting kind of a lavender here. Might be hard to see in the video, but now I'm gonna add a little bit of purple and then I'm gonna go back in with the pink. Okay, and as I'm layering up these colors, since it's still wet, those colors are mixing together. There we go. Yeah, we got a nice, light purple there. Guys, I'm gonna close the blinds because I feel like that's kind of changing the colors that you see in the video compared to what I'm seeing in person. Looks like it kind of does. Okay, so scumbling, color mixing, 
Now we're gonna try some Scraffito. And one thing that's really important is you've gotta do this when the temper paint stick is still wet. I'm gonna show you what will happen if you do it when it's dry, cause I tried it when it's dry just to see if it would still work and it didn't, just as I suspected. So you want us to do a light color underneath and a dark color over top. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take whether, whether it's your toothpick or your old pencil or an actual scratcher or a stylus um, or an old pen, and then you can scratch in your design. And again, this technique is called Scraffito. Okay. And if you don't put enough color down, it won't work. And if it dries, it won't work. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. So this one is one that's dry, it's completely dry, okay? If I try to scrape it, look, nothing happens, okay? So it's gotta be wet. All right, next one, stippling. That's when you make a piece of artwork out of dots. It's really fun. It's very time consuming, but it's fun. You could also lay down a color first, and then you can stipple on top. Okay. All right, next one, let's do some dashes. All right, so dashes basically, it's kind of almost like stippling because you're repeating a motion over and over again where you're just creating this little horizontal line or vertical. I mean, it could be vertical too. Okay, like this. Um, and it's a little bit more interesting if you layer up the colors with these little dash lines. Okay. All right, so dash lines can be horizontal or vertical. Um, Overlapping. Now this is fun to do because the colors are just gonna start naturally mixing together, okay? Okay, look what else I can do. Ooh, whoa. I made some green and some brown. Okay, overlapping. All right, adding white. So creating basically a tint of color. That's what we call that when we add white to colors. Um, and not only is it called a tint, but when you add white to colors, you're usually creating pastel colors. And with spring right around the corner, and I know some of you celebrate Easter, pastel colors are really popular this time of year. Okay, so a nice pastel pink there. All right, let's try another one. Let's do, let's make a pastel blue. Remember, I'm creating a tint, a tint of blue by adding white to it. Beautiful. All right, now let's make a shade by adding black. And my black just rolled off the table and left me, so I gotta go get it. All right, got it. All right, let's make a shade. Put my blue down. Now I'm gonna mix some black with my blue. 
Now, when I mix colors, a lot of times I like to put one, like whatever color I'm using down first, then I add whatever I wanna mix it with, and then I add that other color over top of it again. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed me doing that with any of you know the techniques that I'm doing, but I wanted to make sure I communicated that to you. So I put down blue, then I took, put down black, then I put down blue again. I don't always do that, but it does kind of help things mix a little bit better. All right, now let's try it. Let's try it with pink. Pink. Black. And pink again. Okay. All right, and now at this point, you're probably going to have some space left over and use the extra space to experiment, okay? See if you can come up with your own techniques and share them with the class, okay? Um, so now I just put Sharpie down. Now I'm doing temper paint stick over it. You can still see it pretty well. And then when it dries, you can put Sharpie over it again, but you definitely want it to be dry or else it's gonna ruin your Sharpie when it's wet. Um, okay, I'm excited to see what kind of techniques you guys come up with on your own. And I'm excited to see you try these techniques out because they're really fun. All right, happy art making.